And rolling. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Gary Walker, the Garden Whisperer. Today, this is a garden that I've been evolving for a number of years and just did a retool of it uh, earlier this year. It came out gorgeous. The owner is a super sophisticated, highly cultured world traveler, loves fine wines, loves great art, is a music aficionado, club owner, etc. Really a modern day Renaissance man. So his orders to me were give me color and lots of saturated color. So that's just what we've done. Let's just go on a real quick tour here. So I've mixed in some real nice yellow lantana with beautiful white iceberg roses. Lots of beautiful purple verbena. All of these plants are perennials, which means every year they get bigger and more beautiful. This is just gonna be incredible as time goes on. Beautiful kangaroo paw right here, mixed in with some nice pink pelagonium geranium. Coming around over here where it's a little shadier, I've got this beautiful, fabulous hydrangea in shades of pink and dark blue. I got these gorgeous little reeds mixed in here that'll so that when the uh, other plants go away, the reeds will come up for foundation. Let's spin around here. Here's the flip side here. Now I added a lot of white in here. So this is all perennial self-seeding white cosmos. So that's really cute against the yellow for a very clean look. Over here underneath the olive trees, uh -huh. I've got some more uh, fabulous hydrangea in different colors, lots of beautiful ice plant. Uh, the owner wanted to have nice, nice color on the low growing element here, so I've got a lot of nice color. Uh, the uh, olives I've been keeping laced out over the years. So it's a really cute garden. It's just coming along so nice. Um, and let's follow around over here. It'll get a little bit shady over here. And uh, yeah, you might just want to get a shot of the fountain from where you're at, Nate. Just flip around there. See how nice that is. And so now we're just going to come around the side, a little bit shady, put these beautiful flagstones here, made a nice little path down the side alley. So come on, follow me, let's have a look, walk this way. Oh, okay, now we're walking down the shady corner. We're going to come to the backyard where the pool is. It's really exotic back here. Look at this, isn't this lovely? Is this gorgeous or what? Beautiful pool here. Have a look at the patio here, Nate. Look at all the beautiful kangaroo paw at about four to five feet tall in their glory. Underneath that, I put the beautiful white iceberg roses for a foundation just underneath that. So I've got a nice clean color with the white against the burnt orange. If we swing around over here, uh, I've got a beautiful mixture of red iceberg roses, um, some beautiful uh, purple Russian sage, yellow Uriops daisy, purple Duranta, just a gorgeous, nice, clean, simple palette uh, of color. Very fresh, very happy. We'll come around here. here. So this is another little side planter over next to the pool. They got a fabulous entertaining patio back here. They love to entertain. Got these gorgeous verbenas that'll come up three, four, five, six feet in time, mixed in with the gorgeous white uh, iceberg roses. A lot of green in here, different types of lilies. This is a purple liriope here. Uh, fabulous. I've got that nice little contrast of the yellow and the purple. It's a classic contrasting color situation. We've got the bougainvillea on the back here. Hong Kong orchid tree, when that blooms, good lord have mercy. It's just orchids everywhere. Fabulous. And then we spin around here. Look, look at this flamboyance of these kangaroo paws here. Is this just insanely beautiful or what? Fabulous. Okay, so we're rolling. Okay, so we're coming along back here down this cute little path. Uh, before there was a huge several monster trees in here that we took out a few months ago They were gargantuan like covered this whole area up created this whole new clean theme with these yellow mirror Euonymus plants that are real happy coming down the path here These are all dappled light plants variegated spider plant there and then over here a uh, mixture of the sagos and all the beautiful other color plants that we have in here so I'm gonna uh, just uh, say Ta-ta and goodbye and step out of the picture and let Mr. Nate the Great finish us off. Thank you, Nate.